Okay, so we were on the 14th question. So were you able to do it? Yes, um, I cannot hear you. I'm like, yeah. Yes, okay, so what was your answer? I got 0.07i plus 0.24j. So, okay, seven, wait, just one second. Seven i plus 24j, that is correct. And what, what is the factor with this? Not quite not seven and not quite two four. Can you send me the picture, please? I, I am not able to understand it this way. Um, actually, if the man's taking class answers, then he has no score. Okay, okay, okay. You can just type the number. Actually, I, I, I was, I am not able to understand what exactly the number is. You can just type this factor. Is it one by hundred after simplification? Because this yeah, should be I one by. 0. Yeah, I got the zero point zero seven. Zero point zero seven. Okay, 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 okay. All right, all right, all right. So you did it for seven. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Perfect. Okay. So you are getting the same answer, right? All right, very good, perfect. Okay, so this was the 14th question and you were able to do it. Let's talk about the next one. Okay, so it says, in the binomial expansion of this, there are two irrational terms. Find the difference between these two terms. Now, when we say irrational, you should think about thirds. You should yeah. think about numbers which you cannot write down as a fraction. So yeah, yeah. more specifically thirds, okay? So yeah. which exactly, uh, what two terms would be irrational? Once we know them, we would be talking about their difference. Okay, so we know that for these questions- I'm your voice cut off. Yeah, can you hear me now? Yes, am, am I audible? Oh, yeah, I can hear you now. You're much better. Okay, all right. So for these questions, first, it's important to understand what exactly binomial expansion would be for this factor, okay? It is under the root 3 plus under root 2 to the power 4. Can you tell me what would be the first term? It would be 4 C 0 under root 3 power 4 minus 0 into under root 2 power 0. Why am I doing this? Because I know whatever the term is, we do NCR A power N minus R and B power R. Right, Madhya? So, I can expand it. If you know the, uh, if you know which terms exactly would be rational, it's good. But since we are learning, so I am expanding it completely. Plus, the second one would be 4C1 under the root 3, power 3, and then under root 2, power 1, plus 4C2 under root 3, power 4 minus 2, into under root 2 power 2 plus the last one oh uh, sorry second last one it would be 4 c3 and this is going to give you under root 3 power 1 and under root 2 power 3 and then 4 c4 and this would give you under root 3 power 4 minus 4 that would be 0 and then under root 2 power 4 so this is the expansion. Once we are done with the expansion, we need to understand which terms are we going to focus on. This is the expansion and we need to talk about the two irrational terms. So here's the first one. This would become one and under root three power four would certainly be an integer, right? So it would be a rational number. So we are not interested in this term. Let's look, let's, let's have a look at the second one. If you look at the second one, what do we see? We have under root three power three. This is not rational and under root two power one. So this is going to be used. 
If we talk about the third one, again, we would have 4 minus 2, that would be 2. 2 and under root 2 would be cancelled. 2 and under root 2 would be cancelled. So this term is not needed. The fourth one, under root 3 power 1, this is irrational. Under root 2 power 3 irrational. So this is the second term and that is it. Since they were saying we would be having two rational terms only, there's no point in checking the last one, but just for the sake of completeness, if we check out the last one, it would be under root 3 power 0. So this would give you 1. And then under root 2 power 4. So this would be a rational number, right? So this is also not needed. So what we are left with 4c1 under root 3 power 3 into under root 2 plus 4c3 under root 3 into under root 2 cubed. And we need to find the difference between these two terms. So, Madhya, can you find the difference in these two terms? Yeah, it would be under root 3 power 3 into under root 2. And please give the answer in third form. With 2 root 2 um, power 4. Yes, it again? 2 root 2 power 4. Okay, all right. Let's set C. Let's check this, okay? 4C1 would be 4. Yeah. Under root 3 to the power 3 would be 3 under root 3. You can use your calculator. You yeah. would get this into under root 2. Plus, now we have... 4c3. So 4c3 is also 4. Wait a second. Uh, since we are interested in finding out the difference, so I should add minus sign. This is 4 under root 3. And then again we have under root 2 to the power 3. Okay. So you can just use your calculator directly for this. And this is going to give you 2 under root Okay, now 4 and 3, this is 12 under the root. I have two radicals. I can write that down in one radical by multiplying it. This would be 6 minus and then 4 into 2 is 8 under the root 6 and the final answer is 4 under the root 6. The fact that the terms in question were in third form, it's important that the answer should also be in this form okay because otherwise if you start finding out the decimal values this is a third number you would have to write down a long answer if you are writing it down for a specific significant numbers we are not sure about the answer right okay but can you not write that in the root two form root two what exactly are you saying say it again okay. Oh, no, no, no. It's fine. It's fine. Yeah. Okay. okay. All right. Okay. Perfect. So this was the fourth question and it was about binomial expansion since we discussed this in classes as well. So I wanted to talk about this. Okay. Let's talk about another question. Okay. Now it says a particle P is moving in a straight line with acceleration A at time t seconds, where a is 4 minus 3 t squared. Initially, p is stationary. Find an expression for the velocity of p in terms of t. Now, first, you need to understand what is the relationship between acceleration and velocity. 
how do we go from acceleration to velocity? And then you would be using this thing. So again, think about it. And then if you have anything in the mind, just let me know, okay? Yes, any idea, Madiha? 